all right dear children of class 11 science uh, now we go to the next topic uh, that is equivalence of work and heat you know work okay you have learned in uh, one of the chapter work energy and power okay work is actually said to be done when a force applied on a body produces a displacement okay now heat as you have learned heat actually is nothing but one of the form of energy and energy is the capacity of doing work and whatever work you do that is stored in the form of energy but one of the form of energy in which we stored okay by doing some work is also called heat okay now suppose there is a body suppose there is a body okay so there is a body of any shape and size now the temperature of a body is basically at uh, body acquire a certain temperature let me just take this is a body acquire a certain temperature body acquire what certain temperature now suppose if i want to increase the temperature of the body we can increase or raise the temperature of body in two ways that means the temperature of the body can be raised in two different ways temperature of a body okay can be raised in what two ways can be raised in two ways now what are the way in which we can increase the temperature body so number one if you see it is actually nothing by heating heating the body number one by heating the body heating the what body so by directly giving heat to this body okay that means the body temperature can be increased or the temperature of body can be raised now number two in which the temperature of the body can be raised even is by doing mechanical work another word by is by doing what mechanical work by doing mechanical what work so you can see the temperature of any body can be raised by either heating the body directly by heating the body and number two is by doing some mechanical work now let me just give you one example okay to understand this part is we can warm our hand during the time of winter okay by immersing them in warm water so when we immerse our hand in warm water we can make a uh, hand what warm so we can make a one uh, hand warm means we can increase the temperature of our hand okay or we can also raise the temperature we can warm our hand by rubbing two hand each other so when we rub two hand even in that also what happen uh, the temperature of the hand can be increases that means we can heat the water of the vessel okay we can heat the water of the vessel by means of burner okay so that within this heating the water in a vessel by the help of burner and when you insert the hand or when we immerse the hand then we can get the uh, heat from the water the hot water so that our hand become warm our hand become warm means uh, that means we can uh, increase the temperature of our hand so out here in this example you see uh, by keeping our hand directly in a hot water we can increase the uh, the temperature of the hand or by doing mechanical work so when we rub two hands means we are doing some mechanical work in that case also we can make our hand warm now i'll give another simple example uh, in which uh, the temperature of the body can be raised is taking a piece of iron take a piece of iron and this piece of iron can be heated simply by putting this iron in the fire so when you put iron in the fire okay that means directly giving heat to the iron rod that the temperature of the uh, iron rod become hot i mean the temperature of the iron rod will be raised or we can even raise the temperature of the iron rod okay by beating it with a hammer so we are once start beating the iron rod with a hammer so in that case also the iron rod become warm or it become hot means the temperature of the iron rod become raised but children you know that not only the temperature of body can be raised by heating uh, heating or by doing mechanical work we can change the state of the body the state of the body can also be changed by directly heating the body and by doing mechanical work okay so just to tell you that heat and work you know work outer means what work mechanical work means in the form of what energy mechanical energy can cause the temperature change or it can raise the temperature and even it change the state of the body that means by heating the body 
okay or by doing mechanical work okay uh, the state of the body can even change and even the temperature body can even rest okay so this example okay so that heat and mechanical work or we can simply call as work in the form of mechanic energy they are equivalent to each other so from here i can simply say that heat heat and what work heat and what work but as i said this work is in the form of what energy mechanical energy mechanical what energy okay are are equivalent they are equivalent to each other they are equivalent to each other it means in a simple word i say that work is a form of heat energy i can simply say that work is a what is a form of form, form of what energy heat energy work is also a form of what energy heat energy so to express the relation between work and heat which are equivalent to each other and work is a form of heat energy dr james prescott jewel i'm writing the name james uh, prescott jewel this is the name of the scientist un, uh, in his name we write the unit of work and energy and as unit of work and energy this what uh, jewel okay this particular scientist perform this particular scientist what perform a number of experiment he perform number of what experiment now what why he perform number of experiment in order to establish a relation between heat and work perform number of experiment to establish let me just write down to establish okay establish the relation to establish the relation between what relation between heat and work heat and what work so after performing number of experiment uh, children uh, james prescott jewel this particular scientist found a relation okay and established a relation okay in the form of uh, the numbers or the value the amount of work which is done to produce the same rise in temperature as the amount of heat which is produced to raise the temperature by the same amount which means it was found that 4.18 look at this look at the value so this is not my own value so it is the experimental value which was calculated by james prescott jewel so it was found that 4.18 into 10 to power 3 joule look at it 4.18 into 10 to power 3 joule of work 3 joule of what work produces same temperature rise produces what same temperature what rise as 1 kcl okay i'm writing kcl actually kcl means the calorie kilocalorie 1 kilocalorie of heat 1 kilocalorie of heat produces same rise in temperature same rise in what temperature Now, suppose there is a body in which the temperature of the body to be raised by say 5 degrees, just example, 5 degrees Celsius. So, how much heat that you need to supply on that body to raise the temperature by 5 degrees Celsius, say 5, 1 kcl, so that you know to raise the temperature of the body by same 5 kcl, even you need to do how much joule of work? 4.18 into 3 joule of work to produce the temperature of the body by 5 degrees Celsius, which means 4.18 into 10 3 joule of work is equivalent to 1 kilocalorie of what heat because both raise the temperature by the what amount same amount but children remember this part james prescott joule okay perform the experiment by taking different substances even by taking different substances okay it was found that the result is remains same the result remains same means result remains same means the same 4.18 into 10 3 joule of work is always equivalent to one kilocalorie of what heat so children i can simply write that one kilocalorie of heat is equivalent to 4.18 into 3 joule of what work but you know one kilocalorie means how much calorie thousand calorie that means thousand calorie of heat is also equivalent to is equals to 4.18 into 10 power 3 joule of what work so if thousand calories 4.8 18 into 3 joule of work then i write on this as 
10 to power 3 now 1000 can also be written as 10 to power 3 calorie of heat is equals to 4.18 into 10 to power 3 joule of work now this 10 to power 3 and 10 to power 3 i can cancel out which means one calorie one calorie of heat is also equivalent to 4.18 joule of what work so if one calorie of heat is equivalent to 4.18 joule of work then q calorie it can be any amount of calorie of heat that means q calorie of heat is equivalent to 4.18 q joule of work this is just like following unitary method if one one uh, person one can one person can do a work in one day as this much then this much amount of person can do a work in this way like this is just like unitary method so one calorie is equivalent to 4.18 joule of heat then if there is q cal calorie of heat which produces certain amount of rise in temperature then it equals to 4.18 q joule of what work okay now q calorie of heat is equivalent to w joule of work so i just write down that if this q calorie of heat is equivalent to w i'm just writing the symbol w is the amount of work okay w joule of work joule of what work in fact this q calorie equals to 4.18 q joule of work but that this joule of work is equals to w this joule of work is equals to w then i can write this as w equals to what 4.18 joule 18 q sorry that means w equals to 4.18 q because this w equals 4.18 q is the amount of work in joule which is equals to q calorie of what heat which is produced to reach the temperature by the same amount so this q is measured in calorie that's why in order to express this q calorie of heat in joule it is always multiplied by 4.18 okay by a factor and this particular 4.18 you can see which is multiplied with q okay to convert this work in what joule and this particular factor is also known as conversion factor this is also known as what factor conversion factor and this particular conversion factor is also called mechanical equivalent of heat also known as what mechanical equivalent of heat so i'm using the word mechanical equivalent of heat mechanical what equivalent of what heat and this mechanical equivalent heat is simply denoted by letter j so i can write this as w equals to jq see w equals to jq where where j means what 4 point what 1 8 4.18 but this mechanical equivalent heat has a unit because if w equals to jq then j can be written as w by q and you know work unit is what joule work unit is what joule q which we are measuring in calorie so remember this part children that work which we are measuring in this is joule and the heat which we are producing is in what calorie so i can simply write this as j equals to 4.18 joule per calorie joule per what calorie means i can write in symbolic form as 4.18 jcl minus 1 so what is the mechanical equivalent of heat okay which is also called conversion factor that is 4.18 joule per calorie okay so if the amount of heat is equals to one calorie children then your work done okay is in si unit of joule in the form of joule okay uh, is how much 4.18 joule the work done a mechanical work done or uh, mechanical energy is simply 4.18 joule because if i put q equals to one calorie then this work which is equals to 4.18 joule j means what joule the symbol is what joule okay so that's why one calorie children remember this part one calorie is equivalent to 4.18 joule okay one calorie is equivalent to 4.18 joule and this j which is w by q is simply a what a conversion factor okay it's simply a what conversion factor but it's not a physical quantity it's not a physical quantity it's simply a what factor Conver conversion factor from calorie to what joule okay from calorie to what joule so this relation was expressed by james prescott joule and it shows that 
there's the equivalence of work and what heat but remember this part children that work actually is a form of heat energy now this concept is very much required for the topic to understand